who show us a force <laughs> in many, many ways. Um, she was um, a smart, beautiful, opinionated, <laughs> for sure, uh, loving and kind. He was a kind and loving gentleman, an old-fashioned gentleman. Yeah, you know, it's funny, the priest said in the homily, he had old-fashioned values in a very modern family. And my children have that. And that, that's the greatest gift Carl gave them. When it became clear to us that she was going to die, um, we uh, spent a summer day um, looking at hospices. It was just about us being together. And it was quiet. And he was cared for. And so I could just be close to him because I didn't have to be his caretaker managing it all. You know, they were beautiful times at a very sad time, but I could just focus on him, my husband, not the, not on his illness anymore. That was the greatest gift that the Kaplan House gave me. Care Dimensions provided us with such a nice ending to her life, and it ended in a way that was dignified, that was caring, that was really who Michelle was. With hospice, it's different than the hospital. There's no flashing lights, there's no alarms. There's just this gentleness and this quiet that enables people to die the way that they're born with a sense of purposefulness and um, support around them. I had no idea how important the services the Care Dimension provides were. And until I needed it and lived it, I felt desperate and vulnerable. It changed everything for me. You don't really know what it means until you live it. Being able to have something like the Kaplan Family Hospice House allows families to be families and allows us to be the caregivers. I still want you to be the wife, the husband, the daughter, the mother. Kaplan House is terrific, but it's on the North Shore. There's a huge need for having other sites of care like Kaplan House. And I think having a place that's in another area of the city is critically important. We don't have enough of these kinds of beds available for patients who have high symptom burden, high need in the very end of their life. I don't know what I would have done if the Kaplan House hadn't been there because he was too sick to go home. He was too sick to go to a nursing facility. And then it was completely um, bowled over by all the care they took of him, but of me. Everything from the spiritual care for him, they gave me great advice, and having my children cope with losing their father. The kindness that they showed me, and him. Nothing seemed like a chore for them to do for Carl. Ever. It was if they were caring for someone in their own family. Care Dimensions is a wonderful organization who provides complete care throughout the process of living with dying. And I think more people need to know that it's available, that it's out there, and that they can do something today while they're alive and well in support of what hospice does. So to be able to walk through the doors and say, I helped build this, what a reward. I helped provide compassionate care for people at the end of their lives. I was a part of that. That's the best gift you can give. I mean, what a legacy to be able to leave. If we don't have more places like this, people won't have the opportunities that I had in their lives to spend that quality of time when you're counting down the seconds. And we need to have more places like the Kaplan House. And people need to understand what it really means and what it really is at the most important time in your life. And if you want to fill your heart, go see one of them. Because it will. And it's very obvious why. It's just incredible the services they provide when people need it the most. And it made probably the worst time in my life a little bit more bearable.